and it's uh, Dobra Den. From the Puddle Yeah, we're out with this crazy group of people this morning. Expats going for a walk. So we're going to show you um, some of the bits that have now opened. It's, uh, it's Monday, it's the 1st of May. And the first flights from the UK, the first tourists as such, are arriving lunchtime today. Uh, we've got some flying in from Doncaster and some from Manchester. So uh, first people coming in from the UK for a holiday. So three or four of the hotels are open today. Um, we've just driven past the secrets and dreams. I'll show you that in a minute. Car parks are really busy. Uh, hotels look pretty full. Ah, join us back on the top road in a moment. Oh, this is uh, this is Green Fort. Uh, there's forts all along the resort at the back. Um, Fort Knox, Fort Golf, Fort Nessie Bar. Um, this is a beautiful one on the northern end of the resort. We're going into into Blass, and these were bought as sea view apartments when they were building them. So people paid good money to have a sea view apartment. Then they ended up across the road with this giant like 15, 20 storey hotel. They don't have a sea view anymore. <laughs> if you are along the coast here, when they're selling sea view property, happens a lot with villas and um, apartments. Just check what's in front of it. And if it's spare land, it may well get built on at some point. I've now reached Dolphin Beach. Um, to the left, Secrets and Dreams, the two big hotels there. And what a great view. This is the Secrets Hotel. I also just, just saw this morning that uh, its signs have been changed. It's now badged as the Secrets. The old Rue Hotel. What a great position on the beach. And lots and lots of tourists in there this morning. Really busy. The car parks are full. And next to it is the Dreams. It's sister hotel. Uh, another very, very big hotel. All inclusive. Very luxurious. There you go, you've got all the pools, the active, loads of things to do in there for the kids. Keep you amused for a certainly keep you amused for holiday. Absolutely stunning. And here we go, come back to me. It's gonna be another week or so before the beach bars open. But uh, there's certainly restaurants around the resort now, you can go and get a meal. And through this week, um, quite a few of the bars we know are actually opening up during the week, ready for next weekend. Uh, when there'll be a build up of people, so that uh, it's worth them opening. Uh, here's the Majestic. Uh, that's not opening until second half of May. Um, I've said there's a lot of people in there to fill that make it worth opening and uh, in the next door the one two of the hotels are open today uh, that hasn't opened yet be the end of the but later in May but they have been uh, sort of trimming the grass and getting it ready you can see there's been workers in there this week taking the boarding off the bars and starting the long process of preparing it I've been asked about the Avrika Beach quite a few times recently. So people said I don't mention it when I walk past. Well, here you go. <laughs> I'm mentioning it now. It's directly opposite the beach. Um, that one, obviously, again, middle end of May. Uh, they haven't started on it really yet. You can see fencing is still up. That one's not ready to go. But a very, very nice looking hotel. And a great position. Um, look at this. Across the road you've got Ivrika Beach. So you've got Ivrika Hotel, directly opposite the gateway to Ivrika Beach. 
Ah, so now at the Grand Victoria and uh, they finished the paving at long last. You can see the teams of cleaners working inside on this one and uh, the bar has gone, it's, it's all white out here. That It's a stainless steel bar now, by the looks of it. Uh, Grey stainless steel and the new canopy is on as well, which is a sort of shiny grey as well. Obviously a new colour theme to match all the new paving. That's looking really good. And here we are back at the jetty. Susan's have a quick look at Viking and the plastic palm trees are back with nice leaves. <laughs> a bit of maintenance gone on here. That looks fantastic. And across the path here, they're working on Palm Beach. Wow, that's open. Lots of people there working away. Be open soon. Here's Funny Pub. That's actually open and trading. Uh, arena almost there. They're cleaning it up, getting the bar open. And Central's actually trading. There's Chris on the door. So Susan pointed out the uh, black plastic wrappings are off the corner bar, the exotic bar here. And we have these fantastic statues of uh, ladies. Mm, very erotic. Amazon ladies. Aren't Amazon they? ladies. I can actually see that now. Hey, couldn't see that yesterday, the other day when I come. And the street lights are back on the corner bar, so they're obviously getting the terrace ready. For opening up, definitely getting ready. And we opposite we have jacks. So we have chairs out. There are tables and benches are out now. Oh, the sofa, so working on the bar there, getting that ready. Not long, just a day, two days, and that one will be running as well. Flair, Sunny Beach always opens from the centre, working out towards the outside. So if you are here on a very early break, um, you're basically going to have to come to the central area, basically Flower Street, and around here to find bars and restaurants that are operating. On the outskirts of the resort, it's gonna be another two or three weeks before they really get going. Yeah, so we're just going across the promenade road here, the main promenade road, from Flower Street. We're gonna head up for a snack on the way back. It's where we parked. <laughs> Can't park on the front now, it's too busy. Uh, and the little burgery uh, kebab stand is now open as well. Yeah, local taxi drivers sitting enjoying themselves in the sunshine. We have a few more stalls open today. Yeah, a few more. We're getting the new Scandinavian restaurant ready. Oh, there you go, Scandinavian restaurant, end of the week. Yeah, uh, tables are out. That's the old atoll. So certainly through this week, I'm going to see loads and loads of stuff opening up absolutely everywhere. There we go, uh, Shrek, one of the well-known grills is actually open. Ah, nice to see the place is clean and open. people enjoying themselves again. <laughs> oh, a, bit, a bit of meat off the grill. And some cheesy chips. So it's uh, Chow Chow. Chow Chow. From um, the grill, Shrek. And a little nibble for lunch. There you go. Summer is on its way. <laughs>